Right, am I live on YouTube? That's the question. Let's have a quick look. Just to make sure that uh, I'm up and running. So it should be. Looks like I am. But hey, I am. Marvellous. Hello, welcome to the room. Right, let's celebrate me getting my uh, Darius uh, Cosmic Collection uh, Special Edition. We're going to play through all the Darius games on disc one and two. So, we're going to go for each one of these. This is the arcade disc. So this has got all the 2D arcade versions, even though it is missing one actually. But they're on here anyway. So we're going to play through each one of these. Probably not going to one credit them or anything, but um, there are differences between these versions. I see this is the original uh, free screen uh, Darius game, which is, still looks quite impressive if you see in the arcade, He's, even to this day. Like. So we'll have a go with this. All these come with uh, English sandwiches as well, and they've got uh, a training mode on them as well, or score attack mode. Right, what I'll probably do is turn the um, scan lines off because they're probably not going to work too well. Here we go. I say all these games were converted by M2. So they uh, they are very nice conversions, and they got all the little sort of extras with the, um, the little gadgets and stuff to tell you what's going on in the game. I don't know if you guys have ever played Darius skins before, but they are, I don't know, they're classic shooters. It's probably my favourite um, shooting series. Not my favourite shoot maps, but my shoot favourite shooting series. Um, and they're basically games with um, all multiple routes to go through the levels and multiple bosses and uh, different levels. They can be quite uh, tough games to play, especially the first, the first one and two are really hard. I say I have played this one in the arcade a few times. It's uh, quite rare to see it these days, but it's pretty much the same cabinet as uh, Ninja Warriors, which was another free screen and two screen cabinet. I actually do have another version of this game. It came, um, Hamster did a conversion of it um, in Japan, and I bought it ages ago when they came out. But um, this version, the hamster conversion is very good as well, but I think this version is slightly better. Ah, uh, Mr. Shield then. A shield is quite hard to get. thing with the Darius games, you've got to keep collecting the power-ups for your weapons to get uh, better and then they, they switch to a different weapon after you've collected so many. Same with the shields as well, uh, your shields get better. And the problem is if you die before getting into a new shield, you lose all your power-ups. So I think the idea with these games is literally to try and finish them without dying. Which is not an easy task. If I go in here, Basically, it gives you a nice little sort of um, maps of the game. Basically, you start a day and you can basically choose any route you want with a different boss in each route. And then it gets harder and harder all the way. If you go to the bottom route, the game's really difficult. Um, I say these conversions are quite nice as well. They've got um, arcade ranking mode. Uh, if you go in here, you've got some nice options as well. You can change all the sort of game difficulties. You can configure your controls and order fire, which is very good. You can put screen smooth in. You can put scan lines on it. You can turn the background on and off if you want. Um, I'll leave it on. Uh, screen boundaries you can turn off. And then there's all the gadgets, which you see around the screen. And then you can uh, adjust a few other things, like the, the ranking type and stuff like that. So they're very nice conversions of what they are. So the Darius games are quite notoriously difficult games, or well, they can be. There is quite a lot of these games. All right, so what I'm going to do with this boss, I'm going to fight it by doing this. I've lost my shield as well, which is not good. I 
losing a shield in this game is a bad, is a bad move. I don't know whether this this game su support multiple monitors. That'd be fantastic. So it's not going to work on the PS4, but on the PC if it ever comes out. Imagine a stretch across some, um, say, three monitors would be pretty awesome. <laughs> right, I need to get a shield out, otherwise I'm in trouble. A massive play in field in this game as well. Right, so I don't want to go forward too soon. I say, with the multiple routes through this game, there is quite a lot to it. Hopefully I can get a shield. Or some shields of it. Nice, that's what I want. We do try and trap you at every moment in these games. There's a couple of console um, Davius games, some console exclusive games as well. Actually, this collection, even though it's, the, it's supposed to be like a uh, you know definitive collection, it is it is missing one or two. Well, it's missing two games I can think of. It's missing the Game Boy um, Davius game, which is a bit of an odd omission why it's not on yet. And with Darius Gaiden, there was an extra version of Darius Gaiden, and it is missing that as well. a bit odd. Oh, that was the next. That was a shield bit as well. One more shield power up and I my shield gets powered up to silver. Oh, that's if I don't get it. Right, okay, we got to the boss. Hopefully the stream is running okay. <laughs> Should be. I hope I can do a spot for getting hit. I'm gonna go the top route because it's easier, basically. This game did get some uh, quite nice conversions to some uh, old consoles as well. The PC Engine conversion is very good, including there was a brand new Mega Drive conversion of this that came up with a uh, Mega Drive Mini. Try and do is get a shield now. I need a blue one. Blue power up would be very nice. And there's my blue power up. I might. This game does have rank as well, so the higher the weapon level, um, the harder the enemies become. Well, it's not so much hard, they become harder, they fire a lot more too, so I might try and keep my uh, rank down a bit by not collecting full weapons. Gonna get that though. Sometimes it's a good idea to do that, is just to keep your weapons a bit lower. Don't go trying to fly for power ups uh, when they're forward on the screen. Be patient with the power ups is a good idea in this game. I'm not gonna get that. That's my main weapon power up that is, so um I might get the um that's it. 
Uh, I might keep it as it is now, I think. <laughs> The only problem, the next main weapon power-up is a laser, uh, but it's, it's very, um, it's not very wide laser, so when you first pick it up, it's, it's a bit of a detriment to you, to be honest, like, but I'm going to stick with a wide shot. Oh, that was a bit naughty. Yep, I'm going to let that go. Alright, what boss we got now? It's cool they tell you what the bosses are, the route you're going to. So you have mountain range next, but uh, and then there's the two bosses you can go to after that. Some of the bosses do get returns in uh, later versions of the Darius games as well. Yeah, it's definitely worth getting it. Yeah, the Switch version's really good as well. Bullshit. I've got um, the arcade collection on the Switch. Damn. I picked that up a little while ago, but I, I had a look on um, eBay the other day, and it's, it has gone up in price quite a bit, so... I think I did this boss wrong. I think I need to be below him. a lot to keep track of when you've got a screen this big. Problem is, you can't take too long, Kelly and the bosses. Oh, they're firing a bit at me now, aren't they? That was probably a really bad idea going up here. Damn, it's taking too long, there. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the, all the Darius games, for some reason, seem to demand quite a high price. And um, even if you buy this collection on the store, you're talking what, 80, 80 odd quid for the two game, for the two games in the connection. Ah, this boss is proving quite difficult. I was saying, as soon as you die in Darius and you're back to your standard weapon, it does make things quite hard. Ah. Ah, Bill, let's go, mate. Darius collection is here. Ah, so you get to keep your replays. Plus, nice thing about this as well, if you look at the ranking mode, you can um, download the replays of the best players on you and watch them finish it. Which I did for a couple of the games. Do, 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 do. Right, why is it not going off our screen? How's life, mate? <laughs> Why can't I go off our screen? Alright, okay. So, I'm gonna do the bottom route now and see if I can get in the bottom route. Okay, the bottom route is the harder route. Hope the voice is coming through okay, it should be. Otherwise, I'm sat here talking to myself. So look, I was playing... Uh yeah, that's where I get my, um, my name from, my internet gaming name from. Ah, cool, thanks. Brilliant. Yeah, that's where I got my name from, is um, Darius 2. I always wanted a thing called Tuna Sashimi. Don't actually like tuna, I can't stand it. 
But I do like tuna sushi, actually, very strangely enough. Yeah, I do like the soundtrack of the Darius games. It's like a it's like a weird hoarding soundtrack, especially with later games. So look, so I just switch my. Oh, go for a two pound spring. Hmm, fair enough. Or from a two pounds, it. Eh? Uh, it's weird how they put the. Um, the messages up in you. The uh, some of the words they just break them up, which is a bit straight, a bit it's a bit odd to read. Ah, cool. <laughs> All right, mate. I was going. Yep, I am the Steel Empire player. Cheers for joining, Deviant. Um. Oh no, I got it by uh, the explosion. There's a second cosmic collection coming out as well with G Darius and a special version of Darius Burst. They haven't said what's special about it at the moment though, but there is one coming out. Yeah, Darius Burst unfortunately is very expensive, especially if you've got all the DLC, but oh man, I love our game. I love the arcade cab as well, the arcade cab is amazing. It's in your face, the arcade cab, that's all I can see. I don't mind bat tops, so I feel the ball tops are better. It depends how you how you grip the sort of the the top essentially. The way I grip it, the bat tops don't really it don't really make much difference to me, but I prefer ball tops. I didn't lose my shield that time. Yeah, I've, I've done the trying bat tops out, different springs, and all that type of stuff. Yeah, they haven't actually said whether it's. it's it, it just says a special version, so. Um, see on the collection. Alright, not so good for me, but great for everyone else. Use the wine grip too. Yeah. I sort of grip it between my finger and my thumb as well. That's pretty much how I hold the stick. I suppose with the grip I use, it doesn't really matter what sort of tops on it, but... Um, yeah, I've tried different... Um, different gates as well, like uh, the, you know, octagonal... hectagonal gate, I can't even say hectagonal gate. And the... Um, oh, come on, come on. And the circle gate, but um, hectagonal gates are pretty awesome for smups. But the square gate works perfectly fine. I can see the game's getting a bit more, uh, a bit more tasty now. Oh, I need that. At least I didn't get killed. Lost my shield, though. She's not good. Yeah, there's a lot more sort of um, hidden missile launchers and stuff. Ah, just as the shield was there as well. Yeah, I know. Hectagonal, octagonal, octagonal. <laughs> Playing and talking, words like that, it's not good. Yeah, I've, tr I've tried them out, but um, they, they, I say they find them really good for smups. Damn. As you can see, going the bottom route is a fair amount harder. <laughs> yep, talking and playing games at the same time. When you start using bigger words, it's not good. 
Start using big boy words, I said game over. <laughs> Oh, that was lucky, yeah, they crossed into it. We got to the end. If you buy it on the store, I think the one is 35 quid and the other one is something like 50. It's not cheap. It is out everywhere, I think, though, on the store. Disc wise, though, that's uh, it was a limited, limited red and sort of uh, disc. So, this came from strictly limited games, it wasn't cheap either. It's a lot of little mini ships just chucking at me. I tell you what, it's a damn nice collection, mine. There's a hell of a lot of stuff in that box. I, w I was quite surprised how heavy the box was. So the only problem is you can't hang around too far on the bosses because those cubes turn up. Ah. Yeah, that game has got a ridiculous amount of levels. I need to start playing through the um, the mode of all the levels because there's a you, you do get a hell of a lot of game. I got to give you that. The DLC is really good as well, but it, it ain't cheap to buy it all. It's worth, if you're thinking of buying uh, Darius Burst, it's wait out for it goes on sale, which it doesn't go on sale very often to be honest, but... And then get everything on sale. <whistles> yeah, I'm not using the PlayStation uh, Classic at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it would be with a uh, bloody free screen arcade game. <laughs> We'll be swapping to the next game soon, it'll be a bit bigger. I, uh, <laughs> crazy story. I sent, I sent the one, the one new PC back because the, rattle, uh, the graphics card was uh, rattling. I had to wait for a refund, order another PC. Slightly higher spec, because that's all I could get. Same graphics card. So I thought, ah, oh, can't be two different ones, can it? I get it, set it all up, absolute nightmare, they, in they uh, installed Windows on the wrong hard drive, on the slow one, so I had to get some software to change it to the SSD, and then I changed it all, realised it didn't have a NVMe drive in it, so um, I basically got an NVMe drive, set up Windows, got all went. I used it for one day and the graphics card started rattling again, so I was like, ah, oh, shit, so... I phoned them back up, complained, sent it back, um, and then I haven't had the refund yet, but I ended up buying another PC, I ended up paying an extra bloody uh, 350 quid, no, was it was 250 quid, for a much higher spec PC, and um, this one's been absolutely perfect for two days, no problem, it's a different case, which is much better quality, uh, it's got a higher processor, it's got a higher graphics card, uh, it looks rather nice actually, I think, and it, it seems a lot better quality made, and so far it's perfect, so I've got no complaints. Um, so streaming is all good, if you can get rid of the, uh, the person streaming PC. Ooh. It's quite hard, that isn't it? So I'd have to have a pra you know, some practice on that one. But I haven't got the Genesis. I haven't got the Genesis or the Meg Drive on the uh, the old PlayStation. So let's have a go with the extra version. I say I'll, I'll nip through these ones pretty quick. Say the extra version, as it says there, it had a missile upgrade. Um, they changed a few things around, life increases, all that stuff like that. So we'll have a go with this version. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can't believe it. I rang him up. I was like, 
I was saying to him, I was going, but I am distraught really at the moment. That's the second PC that's literally cost over a grand. <laughs> and it's basically a rattling graphics card, the same as the other one. The other one. So, <sighs> but so far, I'm happy with the other one. And they sent me a free copy of uh, Death Stranded with the other one, even though I sent it back, which is quite nice. And with this new one, they just sent me a free copy of um, Assassin's Creed um, Valhalla, which... I'm not really into the Assassin's Creed games, but I was quite fancy in the look of that one. So, that's cool. So I should be able to have that when it comes out. I've redeemed the code and it's on my AMD account, so... Uh, they'll give me a code for the Uplay version of it, which is quite nice. So, hopefully, this new one... I, I'm quite confident with this new one. It's really quiet. Uh, it's a lot quieter than your one, to be honest. And you can hardly hear it on. And um, when you're playing games on it as well, it's it's not loud at all. Like, so so far, it's fantastic. I did try external hard drive on the classic. I used an SSD on it in the case, and I couldn't get it to recognise it. So I don't know whether it's power. It's probably power requirements. So it was actually powered off the classic. So I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it working. Not to say they don't work, but the one I tried didn't. It would have been quite useful actually to get it working. Yeah, that might actually work. I do have a USB powered hub actually. That might actually work on it. You know, you don't, you don't really need to worry about power requirements then, I suppose, do with a USB powered hub. So, on the whole, these, this extra version of this game, it does seem quite similar, but it does have a few changes. I'll go hard route again, just to cut the time down playing it. Oop. Yeah, it probably will be a power tub. I say ultimate. If you if you could get a, an external hard drive working on it, you know, I think you'd be you'd be golden if that happens. I have, I have read they do support them, so I'm assuming if they support them, there are some that work. Well, we'll go the hard route again. Boom, boom. I'd have to check whether I named the um, the drive properly. You've got to name the drive Sony in capitals, otherwise it won't recognise it. I did rename it, so I'd have to double check if it's still called Sony. <laughs> See if this level's a little bit easier with the changes they've uh, made to this game. I think more interesting changes were Darius 2. Oh yeah, that's a good point. It wasn't it wasn't formatted in Fat 32. Ah I didn't think of that. It's NTFS. That's probably why it didn't work. Ah, I forgot the bloody uh, format formatted. I think XFAT works as well and you don't need any special software to format XFAT. Yeah, I might actually try that again. I might format it in XFAT and see what happens. Uh oh, I need... Ah, uh, I need that. Oh, maybe it has to be Fat32 then. 
I got I, you can get software to do that easy enough anyway, so Yeah, there's a couple there's a couple of free ones to do it. Yeah, damn, I didn't think of that. That would be very useful to get that working. Because uh, I think um, the PlayStation Classic has turned into my streaming console. Just because it's got everything on it, basically, and it's easy to use and easy to plug up. I still do any videos or anything on uh, original hardware, mind, if I'm doing replays or reviews. This level is tricky. Oh, we got a bit further through this level anyway, there's that. Oh, I got it by bullets, so is this it? Ah! What's this saying? Right, can I get to the end of level? That's right, so a tough old game, the original Darius. When I was in Japan, I was in um, I was in Mikado, and uh, there was a guy in there. All few nights a week, he was in there, and um, he was playing this this version on the arcade because they got they got this and Ninja Warrior set up right next to each other, and um, he would get all the way to the last boss. On the on basically right down the bottom, and he was sitting on the last boss, killing himself, and then uh, practicing, dodging all the stuff he was firing at him. I was watching it for ages. He was really good at this game, and I was on a, a sit-down version, which I, I've only ever seen in Japan. It was like a sit-down two-screen version of this this uh, machine. I think it was two-screen. Made a mistake in this again, didn't I? Ah, this boss is tricky. Come from behind me then. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, that was that then. I still damn hard that version. So if I go to game selection, right, let's get into the sort of more interesting. I say there is an extra version of this. What's it got? Greatly altered enemy health, enemy placement, enhancements added to make the game easier to play, including making the laser more powerful uh, in the new version. However, the difficulty of stage in the later half of the game has been rebalanced, and the assumption the players will get there with um, full upgrades. So they made the, the beginning of the game a little bit harder. Yeah, it's on PS4. So, what we'll do is we'll skip back, because it's going to be pretty much the same. I say these these versions are quite interesting. So, Darius 2, this is basically one of the games I really wanted this collection from, because it doesn't emulate particularly too well. Sound-wise, anyway. Uh, I'm going to turn the scan lines off again for you guys, not to uh, make things a bit confusing. Yeah, this game is epic. I... They, they in uh, hey in Tokyo, they've got a setup of this on a, on um, two massive screens. They're like, I'm sure like 80 inch screens or something. They're huge, and they've got like a pedestal in the middle with a double seat on it and a, a joystick on it. So you sit down there, and they've got massive booming speakers each side. Uh, that's pretty epic to play this game on. I said to say the sound in this game is pretty nuts. This is really where Darius started to get really good. And this is where I get my internet name from. <laughs> I 
down, down. There's one other thing called tuna sashimi. That's where the tuna sashimi came from, anyway. The music in this game is really good as well. It was a pretty a massive upgrade on the original. The original was really impressive for its time, but... This version of this they got in hay on those two massive screens. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. This is a version that got um, a few conversions to home consoles. Go for that. I say I'm using a joypad at the moment. It would be better on a joystick, but um, joypad it is. They've done quite well in this conversion as well. The booming noises you hear in this game, like a boom, the pad vibrates. Turn this game up, and it uh, it can sound pretty nuts. It's a really nice conversion of this on the Mega Drive, and but the Saturn conversion is brilliant. Um, okay, let's go up the top. Take these, you would. I say uh, Darius Two is easy, so it's pretty hard. I'm having a scratch and uh, dying, that's, that's pretty stupid. Well, I got him before he uh, zoomed at me. I say all the Darius games have got pretty epic soundtracks. This um, special edition as well came with two soundtrack CDs as well, which are really nice. And they're, they're like remixes of the tunes as well, they're not actually the tunes from the game. By Zootata as well, so which is pretty awesome. I hate those things on the floor. The missiles just go right for you. Oh, damn right that is. I tell you what, it's a bit awkward to read the bloody chat on this PlayStation. When it gets to the end of a line, instead of like uh, swapping the word to the second line down, it just split the it just, it just splits the words up. It's a bit weird. They, I was looking at the leaderboards on this as well, and there's one guy on the leaderboard for every, for basically every area. There's loads on it, but one guy's at the top for each one. I had a look at his replay as well on one of the levels. He's really good at it. Ah, oh, damn, I got it. Shield's gone. Deep base. Right, let's go on the easy level. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Yep. Tell you when you're playing and trying to read it, it's not funny. Oh, I hate these things. Oops. <clears throat> Missed every power up end, do I? Oops, a daisy. I think um, M2 did a really nice conversion on this, but I don't think the PC Engine one is perfect. I think the sound is a tad off. Not for most people to notice mine, to be truthfully honest, but yeah, I don't think it's quite correct. Ooh. Ah, I've stuck there, my buddy. Going downhill. Tell you what, somebody's cooking something, it smells lovely. Ah, it smells like curry. That smells fantastic. Now I'm hungry. I haven't had tea yet, either. He's not far off dead. Ooh, I thought I might have killed him in. Ah, he ran me. Ah, right, okay. Okay, I'll have a look for that. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> so, I do like Darius too. So, what we'll do is, we'll swap to the next version, because we're going to be here forever, right? So, Sagaya, uh, this actually came out in Europe. Slightly different version uh, that was tweaked in different ways. You can see, you can see gameplay was tweaked. Some of the stages were shortened. They swapped things around a bit. It's quite cool. It tells you the difference between each version. This is the one that got converted to the mass system. I don't know if it was this version. Well, it wasn't this version. It was Davis 2, but they called it Sagaya. Right, same in this. I will take the... I shall take the scan lines off. So you got a different starting level on this one now. This level um, is on the um, SNES, the console only version, the original SNES one. Oh, that's definitely harder. Shorter stages, but definitely more tricky. Oh, destroyed him big time, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep a lookout for those cuddies. I 
half the time I find these shop book cutties are not that great. But I haven't seen, I haven't tried that make, so. Could do with some weapon power if you really, can I? Trying to blow that bomb up. <laughs> Deep. <sighs> now I've lost my shield. That's not good. Probably a shield, hopefully. Yep. Oh, did I actually got sued? Really? But that can't be right, don't it? Isn't that Darius pop star? He wasn't actually around then. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it sounds good, though. I'll give you a. I almost fell for it. Yeah, so you've got shorter levels in this one as well, there's not so many stages. Ooh. I had to fire then as well. Dead. <laughs> nice. Right, so we'll have another go with this one, I think. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go to the next one. And then we'll go back to Darius 2 and have a go with that just the standard version. Yeah, so this is another version, a version 2. And according to there, they reckon it was hardly ever released, if possibly not even released at all. So this may actually be an unreleased version. So what's the differences then? Overseas, upright 2 point cab, mega gameplay cycles and for faster in foreign markets. The stages were shortened for domestic Japanese release and the difficulty level was also raised accordingly. Boss health was also um, reduced and uh, some of the bosses in his own routes have been removed from the game entirely and the second version is hardly available in this market. So it all basically didn't come out at all. I tell you what, to get good at all these games as well, is there's a fair amount of uh, a fair amount of playing you could do with this collection. So you got a different stage again, though. I love this music. Alright, cool. We got a shield. We're good. We also have really booming soundtrack in these games. I 
Davius boost is no exception to that. Keep the bomb there and blow this second boss up, I think. Cool. <laughs> um, should I go down this time? What do you reckon? No, no, you don't got a choice. Yeah, those enemies are a bit of a nightmare. Those clamshell guys. They just chuck loads of stuff at you. That background's really good. See, there's some uh, major differences between these versions. It's a bit weird, though, that um, Darius Skaden, they didn't put the extra version on it. Well, got a bit tight to there, then, eh? Right, managed to get for that. This boss is loads harder than it was the first time. Let's see. Yeah, I love the, the SNES one, and um, the new one's even better. The new one's really good. It's a bit different to the SNES one, though. They did uh, change a few things around. Like on the SNES one, you can you can basically, when you knock somebody off screen, kind of, you can stand at the side of the screen, and you can just keep hitting them until they die. Can't do that on the new one. They took that away. Some of the bosses are a bit different as well. But yeah, the super fun games they are. Uh, let's go this level. That's got to be up there, one of my favourite SNES games are, I think. Oh, got some nice firing going now. As long as I don't die, of course. You definitely tweak the fire and you don't normally get this fire in for quite a while. Oh, I need a shield quite badly. Oh, shield. Oh, silver one as well, nice. Yeah, you definitely get your shields and stuff a lot quicker on your weapons in this version. Ninja Boys are really good. I quite like the original arcade one as well, but um, 
Ninja Warriors again is uh, amazing. It's way better than the arcade original. Who destroyed it big time? Doom, doom, doom. Right then, to where, do, where do I go now? Can I go down? No, got a choice. You got to go this this level. All right, those things on the floor are shooting off bullets. Ah, oh, damn, my shield's gone. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Please be a shield. I was lucky. Ah, that guy's huge. <laughs> Oh great. I don't think we can fly through that. I don't think so. Oh, it's got a bit uh, trapped me in the corner but there, there, wasn't it? Shoot his legs off. Right, I gotta get the other side of him. Oh, you shit. Come on, stay in position. Right, okay. Um, okay. Oh, do I go down? Go down. Dum 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 da dum dum. I say those things are a pain in the ass. Uh, no, I'm not gonna get a power up. Damn it. Damn it, Spike. Kill me. <laughs> See, now, right at the wrong last moment. So that's really a nice version of Verb 2 as well. Right, so let's, let's go back to uh, Darius 2. Which is the one I've been. Once it uploads, of course. <laughs> 